Running the Android emulator on a Mac is pretty awesome. It brings lots of mobile games to play on your computer. But what if you could keep it running on a different device? And I'm not talking moving from this to this. You can literally run it from your phone. Over the past few weeks, I've been experimenting a new way to do just that and I think it would be a great idea to share it with you all. So in this video, let me walk you through what this method is on about. Why would you want to try it? And if it sounds like your kind of things, I will show you exactly how to install it on your map. Let's dive right in. So if you've been around my channel for a while, you're probably familiar with the concept of running an Android emulator natively on a Mac. That is when we install a native emulator like Moomoo Player Pro directly on the machine. But of course, this setup requires a compatibility between your Mac hardware and the emulator system requirement. Now the method I'm about to show you is completely different. Instead of installing the emulators on a Mac, you are going to install it on a VPS. And if you are not familiar with the term, a VPS is stand for Virtual Private Server. So just like what it sell, a VPS gives you a virtual environment where you can freely install any application that you like. It's dedicated just for you, so you don't have to worry about the interference from other users. And since the VPS runs on a physical server, it can stay online 24 seven. So now you're probably thinking like, why would anyone want to run an Android emulator for 24 hours a day? I agree that it sounds a bit overkill at first, but there's some use case where that makes a lot of sense. Let's talk about gaming for a second. There's many games built to reward users for staying online as long as possible. Like Clash of Clans, when you complete a certain number of battles, you will receive more gems and points toward the new level. But let's be honest, it's super time consuming. So VPS comes in super handy because it's on 24 seven. So it is possible to keep your game online and active. And you might ask, what do I mean by active? Is there anyone in the data center playing game for me? Actually, no. To keep my game active, I was setting a macro to handle on repetitive tasks in game like farming resources and doing auto battles while I'm off doing something else. Now, before you go into the comment and type in some things like, oh, this guy is cheating or and you should not do this, you should not do that. Just keep in mind, it is just a fun experience to show you one advantage of running Android emulator on a VPS. Because aside from gaming, I know lots of people use VPS to farm social media accounts that are used to run advertisement for marketing purposes, or developer testing and developing their app on the Android emulators. But just be aware, not every VPS out there can handle running emulators. There's a lot of them are missing proper virtualization support or hardware accelerations. And without those, these emulators cannot run the way they're supposed to. And Pixel Sky is a VPS provider that address these limitations. They offer VPS solution optimized for 3D acceleration technology to modern graphic APIs like OpenGL 4.5 and Vulkan 1.3. Make it ideas for running Android emulators like Moomoo Players, LE Players, or BlueStack smoothly. They offer various VPS configurations to suit different needs and budgets. You can start with the 19 euro monthly plan to see if it's work well with your applications and requirements. And Petrol Sky is our today video sponsor. They are so generous to give us a discount. So make sure when you check out, you're using this code to have 15% off. So at this time of the video, you probably understand what this method is all about, what it can do for you and what you can do with it. So let me just walk you through some of the basic steps to install it directly to your Mac. All you have to do is go to the App Store and then search for the window desktop uh, remote applications. So the name is window app. And then this is the first one. Just click download. This is the application from Microsoft to your window applications on other device. So we're going to use this. So just click open and not now continues and you can click skip. So we in the device section where you can add the new uh, VPS or new device over here. If you have more than one VPS, you can control all of them over here. Um, so this is because this is our first one, we're going to click to the plus button and click to add PC. So there's a few information need to be filled 
over here and all of this can be found on the email that uh, Petro Sky sent to you after you complete the purchase and uh, the first one is the VPS IP gonna be fill in the PC name and we're gonna click to credential where we gonna add credential and the username gonna be here and the password Okay, so the friendly name, I gonna put anything, just the alternative names and click add. And uh, just take a quick look at the uh, configuration. We have a general and we have a display where you can set the resolutions and color quality and device audios and uh, folder. You gotta decide which folder you want to accept in the remote section. So that is pretty much just pick and choose. So just do on your own preferences. And after you finish, just click to add. And that is pretty much everything you need to do to add the VPS to your Mac. To open it, you just double click and click to continue. And very fast, we have the new desktop over here. Very high resolutions and very good responsive. It's basically just a phone PC where you have a phone control in the settings or you know one of the folders it's just it's just uh, functions like a normal and how powerful it is will determine on what plans you choose right and for the customization you can find on the client dashboard where it show you uh, more tunes and actions like start and stop your vps or open your vps on the web browser with the no vnc console or additional tones like backup um, five words or snapshot and um, very interesting and informative in the information over here you can see the VPS is running or not and uh, how long time is up it's up 11 days non-stop and the CPU usage as a breakdown and the memories everything so that is pretty much about the VPS and now uh, to install the Android emulators, you just gonna go to any web browser and just type in. For example, I used to play my game with the uh, Moomoo players and I'm gonna download Moomoo player 12 for this. Just gonna click here and download like, like a normal software, right? It's just like window, like right here. Because I, I already use this for a couple of weeks, so I already download it over here. So I'm just gonna open it for you to see. So in the emulator, you can go to the Play Store to download the game that you like as normal. I already have few games over here, so I'm just gonna play that. This next part, I'm gonna show you how can you build your own macro to perform some of the repetitive tasks on your game so you don't have to do it all over again. So to do that, we're gonna use the software called Macro Recorders, which allow you to record all of the mouse movements on your screen and whenever you hit the play buttons it will perform the same things as you record because i've been using it for a few times so there's uh, some preset over here but i will show you from uh, scratch how to record a new macro and show you how it works okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the settings and disable one of the options over here because we don't want to abort our playback because of some of the actions like key press or a mouse movement, right? We want to keep it running uh, consistently. Just click OK. Let's say I want to join the battle automatically, right? I'm gonna record. And you see it on the action panel over here, start to record my mouse movement. So I'm gonna do like, hit on attach, find match. Gonna attach some of the shoulder over here, right? And when I finish, I'm just gonna hit on stop. Okay, and now when I go back to my troop, I gonna play it again to see if it worked properly. As you can see, I don't touch on my keyboard right now. And it works so basically this is how it's work and as i mentioned the vps gonna run 24 7 so for this test 
I'm going to play the macro and then I'm going to close the VPS and see if it's still running. So I'm going to hit play over here. Okay, so it go to the match accordingly, right? So I'm just going to close the app, close everything. And then open again. And as you see, it still like run automatically without like movings or without me interact with the uh, VPS. So uh, if you set the macro uh, correctly in your style, it will keep running like nonstop. So spend time to discover uh, the VPS, spend time to discover this macro. It's very interesting and I hope you enjoy it. So for me, this is a pretty convenient way to run an Android emulators on your Mac, regardless of your device spec. It can be the old Intel Mac or the newest Apple Silicon Mac. The interesting thing is you can access it from anywhere, even from your phone. So it's just open the new way to play a game. So if you like it, make sure to check the link in the description and don't forget to apply the code for 15% off. Thank you all for watching and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment and I'll be happy to help. See you guys in the next video.